This is Tomo News for Tuesday, August 22nd. Large asteroid Florence to pass by Earth on September 1st. For those of you who enjoy looking up at the sky above, you may see something out of the ordinary passing overhead in just a few days. An asteroid, roughly three miles wide, will drift past our planet a few moon lengths away, and it's going to be closer to us than we're used to seeing. Asteroid Florence, named after the founder of modern nursing, Florence Nightingale, is believed to be at least 2.7 miles in diameter. Hurtling through space 4.4 million miles away, more than 18 Earth-Moon distances, Florence is the largest asteroid to pass this close since the first near-Earth asteroid was detected over a century ago. The last time this particular asteroid was this close was back in 1890, and following September 1st, it won't be this close again until after the year 2500. As it glides by, Florence will move through the constellations Pisces Austrinus, Capricornus, Aquarius, and Delphinus visible even by small telescopes. Florence's trip past the Earth offers scientists a chance to study it up close. This asteroid is less than half the size of the one that wiped out the dinosaurs and poses no apparent threat to life on Earth. Quake-proofen buildings with style. A giant curtain of special cables is the latest earthquake-proofing innovation to come out of Japan, and it combines both functionality and sleek design. With Japan's location along the Pacific Ring of Fire making it prone to earthquakes, citizens are constantly finding ways to protect the country's infrastructure. One textile company has created threads made from thermoplastic carbon fiber composite, which are braided to form a strong yet flexible rod that is as strong as iron but 90% lighter. The rods have been installed outside the company's building. It is draped all around the structure, essentially tethering the roof to the ground. They are also installed inside the building to strengthen the interior walls. When the ground shifts from side to side during an earthquake, the rods stretch and pull the structure back in the opposite direction to prevent shaking. The project is a collaboration between textile company Komatsu and architectural firm Kengokuma. It will soon be used to reinforce Zenkoji Temple in Nagano, one of Japan's oldest temples. America only has to wait seven years for its next total eclipse. Are you sad the Great American Eclipse is over? Fear not, for another one is coming in the not-too-distant future. A total solar eclipse occurs when the new moon passes between the sun and the earth. The next total solar eclipse will take place on July 2nd, 2019. It will be visible from parts of South America and the South Pacific. The next total solar eclipse visible from the United States will take place on April 8th, 2024. The paths of the 2017 eclipse and the 2024 eclipse will intersect at Carbondale, Illinois. Southern Illinois University, which is based there, is billing itself as the Eclipse Crossroads of America. As many as 14,000 people were expected to attend a Great American Eclipse event at the school's sports stadium on August 21st, with tickets costing 25 bucks a pop. Passenger tries to open aircraft door mid-flight. Ah, the friendly skies. An American Airlines passenger aboard a plane from Los Angeles to Minneapolis on Saturday attempted to open the exit door during the flight. According to passengers, a man wearing sunglasses tried to grab the handle of the door after the pilot announced the aircraft was descending. What some people thought was a fist fight actually turned out to be other passengers rushing in to stop the man from opening the door. While the passengers were subduing the suspect, the flight attendants then rushed in to help. Once the man was finally subdued and seated, the pilot told everyone to fasten their seatbelts for a quick landing. After the flight was on the ground, several officers escorted the man off the plane. The investigation has since been turned over to the FBI. Authorities have yet to release the man's name or say if he will face any charges. Drones equipped with machine guns set to alter combat forever. A Florida-based startup has developed the technology to equip drones with firearms and weaponry that will drastically change the way wars are fought and lessen the loss of life to soldiers. The TCAD is a multi-rotor drone, able to carry and fire military weapons up to 22 pounds, which includes semi-automatic rifles and grenade launchers. The latest TCAD drone models are designed to be remotely operated by soldiers on the ground. The technology was initially conceptualized to better identify, target, and destroy terrorist agents, reducing the collateral damage of civilian casualties. Deploying fleets of these weaponized drones is also expected to reduce the need for military personnel to remain in the field. The drones are also built with a stabilization system able to handle the recoil of weapons fired from the sky. 
Reports indicate the makers of the drones, Duke Robotics, have already taken in an order from the Israeli military and are looking to outfit the U.S. military with them as well. Spanish cops take out main Barcelona suspect. The prime suspect for last week's atrocities in Barcelona, Spain, has been eliminated by Spanish cops. On Monday, Spanish authorities tracked Barcelona attack suspect Yunis Abiyakouf to Subedaz, a village around 40 kilometers west of Barcelona. The suspect was reportedly hiding out in a vineyard and wearing what appeared to be an explosive belt when officers found him. According to police, the 22-year-old suspect yelled, God is the greatest in Arabic before being gunned down. An explosives robot was sent to investigate the belt and it was later found to be fake. Police say Moroccan-born Abu Yaqouf was the author of last Thursday's car attack on La Rambla in Barcelona, which claimed the lives of 13 people and left more than 100 others wounded. A new way of getting power from the sun. Researchers in Britain have developed a new type of technology that can help buildings to harvest solar power in addition to the power generated by rooftop solar panels. Solar squared glass blocks contain a layer of small solar cells. The intelligent optics of the blocks focus incoming sunlight onto the solar cells when placed vertically. The blocks can be linked and wired to one another, generating power for buildings and electric vehicles or to be stored in batteries. These blocks can be embedded in conventional construction designs. Tinting can also be added to prevent too much sunlight from entering the building's interior. Researchers say the blocks also offer better thermal insulation than traditional glass building materials. Startup company Build Solar, which developed this project, is looking for test sites for this technology. A finished product is expected to be available next year. Shark carcass found vandalized and missing teeth in California. The mighty great white shark, a predator respected by all, well, almost all, reports out of California indicate the body of one of these impressive beasts was found decapitated on the shores of Monterey Bay, missing key body parts that some believe were taken as trophies. The 10-foot-long juvenile great white's body was spotted by surfers and homeowners in Santa Cruz on Thursday evening. Researchers from the Pelagic Shark Research Foundation arrived to gather the dead specimen, but it was gone. Officials have a hunch that the shark's body was found by vandals looking for keepsakes. Tampering with shark corpses is illegal in California. When they recovered it the next morning, the shark was noticeably absent of its dorsal fin and most of its teeth. Propeller cuts on the shark's body seem to indicate it perished after being struck by a boat. It's a sad state to see one of these brilliant creatures not just laying there lifeless, but stripped of its machinery, reduced to a piece of flesh. What's cool about wearing a shark tooth necklace exactly? Earthquake shakes Italian island. One person died and dozens more were wounded when an earthquake hit Italy. A 4.0 magnitude earthquake struck the island of Ischia off the coast of Naples, Italy on Monday evening. One woman was killed by falling masonry from a local church, while at least 25 others were wounded. The number of dead is expected to increase. Power cuts hit parts of the island after the quake, which was followed by 14 aftershocks. The seismic event comes a few days before the anniversary of an earthquake in central Italy that killed 299 people last year. Italy's geography makes it prone to seismic activity. The country is situated on the boundary between the African and Eurasian plates. Earthquakes can result whenever these plates collide. Pet owner breathes new life into his dying tortoise. What do you do when a pet is dying? Well, one pet owner in Gloucestershire, England, revived his drowning tortoise by giving the animal CPR for an hour. Pet owner John Fletcher was left shell-shocked when he found his 45-year-old tortoise, Freda, drowning in his garden pond on August 14th. Not ready to say goodbye to his beloved pet, Fletcher tried to revive Freda by giving her mouth-to-mouth -mouth CPR and stretching her head out a little. After a while, the pet owner saw water coming out of Freda's mouth and her legs began to twitch. He then used a hairdryer to warm Freda up and massaged her legs and back. Fletcher massaged Freda's chest repeatedly for an hour, and finally, the tortoise began gasping for air, then opened her eyes to let her owner know she was alive. After being saved, Freda is now back to her normal routine, strolling around and, you know, just uh, generally uh, looking at things. Only now, she'll be staring at a fence around the pond that Fletcher put up to protect her. According to a reptile store in the UK, tortoises can only float on water for a short amount of time. 
So peeps, uh, keep an eye on your little friends. Modular electric car goes off-road in Africa. Designers in Germany have unveiled an electric car custom designed for rugged African terrain. The A-Car is an all-wheel drive electric car with seating for two. The vehicle can be charged in seven hours from a regular household wall socket. The A-Car has a range of 80 kilometers and a top speed of 60 kilometers per hour. Solar panels on the roof can collect energy throughout the day to keep the car running. The car is designed for multiple functions, such as transporting cargo or to help provide medical care in remote areas. The first prototype was tested on roads in Ghana in July. The team will present their new prototype at the International Motor Show in Frankfurt in September. Urban lighting may increase the risk of breast cancer. New research has found a possible link between exposure to nighttime light and breast cancer in younger women who smoke. Previous studies have shown that exposure to light at night may lead to decreased levels of melatonin, a hormone made by the body's pineal gland. This can disrupt circadian rhythms and lead to an increased risk of breast cancer. A new study tracked data from nearly 110,000 women in the U.S. between 1989 and 2013. The results show the risk of breast cancer in premenopausal women who smoke or who used to smoke increases with greater exposure to outdoor nighttime light. However, older women and those who have never smoked did not seem to be affected by the lighting. The study says the link between urban lighting and breast cancer is stronger among women who worked night shifts. But the authors admit further work is needed to clarify the results.